In this video, we are going to talk about physical pendulum. So let's say you have got a pendulum, and then this is our pendulum, and then you, you are having maybe a stick or anything, so you are trying to swing it. So this is going to be our pivot. Okay? So if this happened to be our pivot, that is our pivot where you are holding and then this is the object which you have okay now this object is going to have it's going to create an angle here it's going to form an angle which we can call it as theta okay we know that this object is going to have the length at the same time since it is moving under the influence of gravity this object is going to have the ability to fall so it's going to have the uh, the weight force so we can say mg okay so it's going to fall under the influence of gravity so at the same time we know that it's going to be going this is let's say this is point a this is point b this is point c it's going to be moving all the way from here it comes to uh, c then back to a that is one cycle okay now in simple terms period is given by uh, it's going to be given by uh, the time over the number of oscillation or the number of cycle. Then frequency is just basically one over one over period. But there are some times where we can't use these formulas. We have been given some other some other um, values, like maybe the gravity and everything. Now another formula for the period under the f uh, physical pendulum. A physical pendulum the period is given by the square root is given by uh, 2 pi the square root of a moment of inertia divided by m g times l where this moment of inertia is just basically m l squared okay now the m which we are talking about here this m is the mass of the same block the, so, sorry, the mass of uh, the object which you have. Then G is just basically this uh, G which we are talking about. Then L is just basically the length of uh, an object. Now, we want to come up with the proper formula which is going to help us to find the period. Okay, so since we are, we are saying that the moment of inertia is given by M L squared, we can, we can replace where there is I, the moment of inertia with m l square so we can say that period is going to be equal to 2 pi times the square root of m l squared everything divided by g mg oh, that one is not squared and then it's going to be period is going to be equal to 2 pi so we can see that from here we can cancel m and then we can cancel 1 l so we're going to have this we're going to have 1 l over g so this is going to ha to be our formula for what eh? finding the period so it is just basically 2 pi times the square root of L over G. So that is how you can come up with that formula. Now let's find the formula for, for frequency. Okay, We know that the frequency is 1 over period. So we can say that it's 1 over 2 pi times the square root of L over G. So I can arrange this and I can say this is the same as 1 over 2 pi times 1 over the square root of L over G. Now this part here, if I'm to to simplify it, it's going to give me uh, 1 over uh, L over G. Let me first remove the square root. Then it's the same as 1 times G over L, where the, this is the square root already. So we can say that the frequency is going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of G over L. So it's going to be 1 over 2 pi times the square root of uh, g over l. So this is going to be our formula for what? This is going to be our formula for um, frequency. Now, let's come up with the formula which is going to help us to find uh, the angular frequency. Okay? We know that uh, velocity, uh, when we talk of um, the, the angular frequency, we are talking about this. It's going to be equal to 2 by f. Okay? 
Now from here we know that the frequency is just basically this part here. So we're going to replace where there's frequency with 1 over 2 pi times the square root of g over l. So I'm going to say this is going to 2 pi times uh, 1 over 2 pi times the square root of g over l. Okay, so from here we can see that we can cancel these two. Then we are going to have uh, the angular frequency is going to give us the root of g over l. So this is the formula for angular frequency. So this is very, very important for you to know this formula. So we are saying that the formula for period is just basically 2 pi times the square root of l over g. Then the formula for frequency is just basically 1 over 2 pi times the square root of g over l. Then the angular frequency is just basically the square root of g over, over l. So this is very, very important for us to know. So this is how you can drive these formulas. This is what we call physical pendulum. Okay.